Good morning. Up in the morning, rising sun. Can walk, talk, blab. The blabbing's done. Blab check. Blab's live and well. Check, check. Lights, camera. Action. Riding sun. Do not persecute the faithful. My morning. Wake up. Self video. Video. Video face. Call in the morning with a story and a message and a challenge. Every morning, 8 a.m. I mean, 8 a.m. on the weekend, 7 a.m. during the week, Monday through Friday, Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time. Morning wake up call. Those maybe listen or not. All right, watch your own leisure. With a good message. And I sadly admit to persecuting a couple of schoolmates while growing up. One of which we grew up to be best friends. And it don't feel good to be persecuted or persecuting others. If you're walking out the big map stairs, they'll guide you. Realize, oop, I shouldn't be doing that. Now I say no to rejoice at the expense of others, or at the expense of another, or be ashamed, confused, and dishonorably discharged. Heavenly, heavenly dishonorably discharged. Some common rules and regulations in the realm of misdemeanors that may seem trivial to a civilian outside the military are considered chargeable offenses under the UCMJ, Uniform Code of Military Justice. If misconduct is as serious as being AWOL, absent without leave, sedition, sexual assault, murder are sure to result in being disarmed but discharged in the military. I never knew of anyone being accused of sedition. You know, we may talk bad stuff here and there. It could be borderline sedition or on the verge of it. I never knew anyway in charge of that, but I did see some some facing the other other three offenses. They wall, absent without leave, being the most prevalent. You deal with that, you gotta deal with somebody uh, chasing you down. They'll even get the local authorities to Put a lookout for you, and if you're found, then you're brought back for brought back to be charged and formally charged and sentenced to serious stuff as far as yeah, confinement or, or discharged. Bad stuff on your paper that could hurt you. When reading about Davis testify testifications, testifies to look, looking at that and then comparing it and look at law of the land by humans. By human standards, I think we have it got backwards. Human standards with only serious crimes being punishable by offenses like resulting in discharge compared to the big man upstairs, truth, way, and light. Of course, there are several smaller types of misconduct that could result in some type of discharge other than honorable. Any type of lesser than honorable discharge, though, then your life is restricted and doors of opportunity are closed. You do that. You Face the consequences. Persecuting others result in shame, confusion, and even possibly a heavenly dishonorable discharge. Not only should I keep the law of the land, but also keep big map stereo God's law, lest I be heavenly dis dishonorably discharged. He gave his only begotten son, as whoever believes him believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So believe that and keep it simple. Love him with all heart, mind, soul, strength, body, strength, and soul. Love your neighbor as yourself. And keep it simple. Do that. And be sure to gain an honorable, honorable discharge from life when the time comes. Psalm, Psalm 35, verse 26. Psalm 35, verse 26. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine heart hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. My challenge is do not persecute the faithful or be heavenly, heavenly dishonorably discharged. I'm going to be honorably discharged from this life when the time comes to answer for our sins. Be told a good and faithful servant, not the opposite. And be given a dishonorable discharge. Charged to be sent other than heaven. Let me keep it simple. 
Love him. Love up. Love your neighbor yourself. So keep on keeping on. And you do the same. It's Brit the Blabber signing off for now. Blue, blab, blue, blab, blue, blab, blue. I sleep. Super Files faithful. Super Files never die. Signing off. Oh, thanks for joining me, Jake. Been to catch most of my morning wake up call. I do like five minutes in the morning, 7 a.m. in the weeks. During the week, 8 a.m. on the weekends, Eastern Standard Time, a little wake-up call, sharing the messages and story around a verse, reflecting on some of the things I've done, good, bad, and not so good. It helps me walk it out, sharing that. Have a good one. Thanks for joining me. Sign off for now.